Okay, so today we're changing some whole house water filters. Uh, there's a sediment filter here, a carbon black filter, and a water conditioning, water softening cartridge. So first thing we're going to do is shut the water off to the filters, relieve the pressure, drain out some of the water, take out the old filters, uh, inspect the O-rings, uh, gently clean out the inside of the, the canisters with uh, mild bleach and water, and install the new filters and reverse the process. There's a relief button on the top of here to relieve the pressure. And then this valve off here also has a small drain on the side of it to relieve the pressure. So yeah, this is the this is the old sediment filter. You can see how much rust and sediment it's collected over the last mm, four or five months. This is what the new one looks like. So I mean, it does a good job. But here in Colorado, we have hard water, high mineral content. Next one is a carbon black filter. I have a floor drain down here in the basement that allows the water to drain out to the sanitary sewer. So yeah, this one obviously doesn't look too bad compared to the new one. And then lastly, the, the water conditioner. Water conditioner filters work a little bit different than water softeners. Um, you can see it's a polyphosphate material and helps uh, or prevents the development of scale and corrosion and remove sediment. So you won't get all that, uh, you know, calcium and scale around like your uh, shower head and faucets and things. systems comes with the filter wrenches so it's a good idea to hang these up near the filters
Yeah, like I said, you just want to inspect the, the O-rings, make sure they're not damaged or worn out or cracked or brittle. You can buy replacement O-rings for these. And then again, you can just gently wipe out any rust or sediment that's in, in the canister. Some <clears throat> so yeah, this is the water conditioner filter. Uh, make sure you don't lose little rubber O-rings or washers on either end. Uh, the new filters come with new ones, but you just want to make sure they don't accidentally fall off and get lost. Yeah, they're easy to get lost. Just reverse the procedure for installation. snug them up just a tiny bit. You don't want to over tighten those because then they'll be really hard to get off next time and that can cause you a problem. So yeah, now it's a carbon block. And this one's good. Collects uh, particulate down to five microns. rings look good. Carbon block helps reduce odors and you know that chlorine smell, chlorine taste. Makes the water taste better than smell water. Yeah, and I, I buy these from, I think it's filterway.com or Express Water. Yeah, Express Water. Ship them directly to your house or your business. So, yeah, this is a 10 inch sediment filter. Again, 5 micron. That filters out the particulate, rust, etc. So you always do your sediment filter first, then your carbon black, then your water conditioner. You 
just want to check for leaks when you turn the water back on. And then when you turn the water back on, you want to push the red relief buttons on top to relieve all the air, the trapped air pressure in the pipes and the filter housings until water comes out. And then you want to go upstairs and open the faucet and burp any trapped air that's in the water lines. And just slowly open the valve. Good to go. Uh, the last thing I like to do is just label the date that the filter elements were changed so you can keep track, you know, for next time. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, ring the bell. Please leave me a comment for future video topics you'd like me to cover.